Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel and to another unboxing video. Today I have a, another special delivery from uh, from the UK actually. This is from Garage RC, so thank you very much for sending this to me to do a review. So let's open it up and see what's inside. And here is the XRX DPA sports version. Let's set that aside. And I also have some stickers from Garage RC as well. So this looks really nice. Now let's open it up and see how it is. Well, uh, I've, <laughs> I really want this car. I've been wanting it for very, very long now. And uh, I actually recommend it to pretty much everyone. And it is quite embarrassing because uh, I've never got the car, but I know it's good. <laughs> so, so here is the car. Well, it is partially assembled so inside we have uh, the chassis so let's see what we need to do with this car so we have to build the standing gear and here's the chassis with sliding rack oh the slider isn't uh, installed so we're gonna have to do that the arms are very very well adjusted from the beginning the top plate is carbon fiber the bottom plate is aluminium so so they keep the center of gravity low and uh, the diff, the diff is very smooth uh, inside. Oh, and by the way, this one comes with a uh, locked diff, and the the drive cups seems to be aluminium, so they are going to last very, very long. All the suspension are adjustable. You have front camper front width oh and from what I can see right here I'll have to put some space in it to adjust the caster and of course we have uh, the rear toe is not adjustable but it has uh, adjustable rear camber <coughs> it as well so here's all the parts uh, this ring I presume it should go in with the gear like this and the shock tower this should be the steering some uh, CVDs shims and rings are all included so that's fantastic i think this is very very near completion uh, they give us a lot of stuff that uh, we gonna, uh, that we can uh, adjust the car and uh, and tune the car very very well and here's the sliding rack as you see here uh, the sliding rack has a lot of holes so uh, from this we can adjust the Ackerman and this is a very very good design I think this is the best I've seen in micro car and here's the steering knuckles nice. and here's another ball caps I'm not sure where it goes, but uh, the manual should tell me anyway. Oh, I forgot to mention that because I just saw it right now. 
it comes with a uh, male wheel nut as well so that's fantastic i don't have to look for something to uh, to upgrade it uh, out of the box and another thing i've just noticed uh i'm not sure if you can see this so I'll zoom in they give us uh small pins as well these are the things that go into the CVD inside this rubber there uh, there is this small pin and if uh, and when and actually when the rubber breaks this pin will fall off and you will lose it so it is very good that they give us some spares as well so that's the chassis next the electronics we have the ESC wish if you think it looks rather familiar yes you are correct this is the hobby wing made ESC wish is proven to be fantastic I know because I have like four of this already so I know it is good next is the motor I think this is a 3500 kV which is fantastic for drifting and well, I'm not going to assume anything, but uh, it is exactly like the surpass hobby. Well, uh, if it performs the same, I'll be happy. And next, we have the servo, which is a Metal Gear servo uh, with JST ZH 1.5mm plug. This it's a bit of a surprise because uh, I thought they're gonna give us the A11 CLS but anyway this will do this is all this is also a good servo but it's not fast nor the most precise of all you can get but it'll do next is the gyro it should be the second version of the AFRC so this is going to be a very good gyro as well because I already have one of these. I know it's good. And that's it. Oh. And we also have another spare for the for the rear gearbox. They give us a lot of stuff. I know it is a bit expensive, but you know with all the thing uh, with all the stuff uh, they give us, I think it is well worth the price. So next, uh, what do you need to complete this car? First, you are going to need a radio and a, uh, and a receiver. Of course, uh, I have this. I'm going to use, again, I'm going to use my Flash Guy Noble for this. And uh, you're going to need a body and wheels. So I have this. Skylight Arthur E3 GTR. This small version. The wheels depend on the body you choose. So uh, you are going to have to check which offset do you need. Except for some bodies like this one. Uh, they're going to give you wheels as well. So I don't have to go and look for the wheels. They come with the body already. So that's a very big plus if you buy a Arthur 3 GTR whether it is. Uh, the Nismo version or the V-Spec version. And what do you need next? Oh, the tires. The tires. So now that you have Kyosho, Atomic, and DS Racing, which you can choose uh, according to the surface you are running. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I'm gonna have to build the car. And uh, I'm gonna have a video for that too. And uh, if you want this car and you are located in uh, EU or the UK, uh, please contact Garage RC. Uh, he has uh, some in stock and he can ship it to you pretty quickly and without import tax. And that's the best thing when you have a distributor within the EU. For now, you know. <laughs> so. Thanks again to Garage RC for sending me this car for a build and review. As always, thanks for watching and see you again next time.